We got our first look today at Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers. Yeah, and we learned when the movie, which is being partially filmed here in Pittsburgh, is going to be in theaters. David Highfield joins us with this tonight. David. Yeah, Susan and Ken, I think this was a welcome distraction for a lot of people today. Let's take a look at the two side by side. So, of course, this is the real Fred Rogers over here. This is Tom Hanks dressed as Fred Rogers. And with the clothes, the hair, the makeup, well, it's pretty spot on. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Of course, many of us grew up watching Mr. Rogers, myself included. Fred Rogers became a beloved Pittsburgh icon. But rest easy, because based on this photo released by Sony Pictures, it seems they're taking attention to detail very seriously. Red cardigan? Check. Tie? Check. Khakis? Check. So what's the verdict on Hanks as Mr. Rogers? That is Tom Hanks. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, actually. You think he looks like him? No. Not really? Similar, but not. You know, he's, he, you know, on a scale of one to ten, six. The shirt, even the shoes, the, I think he captured it. It's absolutely it does. a very good likeness. It does. It looks just like him. Yeah. Won't you be my neighbor? Sony also revealed the film You Are My Friend will be released in October of next year. Earlier this week, they were still filming some scenes downtown. They had built a New York subway entrance and replaced some traffic signs, which may have had some drivers thinking they had really taken a wrong turn. Hanks even talked about our city at a voter registration rally in Oakland. A long-standing affection for the city of Pittsburgh Based on, based on the We Are Family World Series when I was a kid. So, one more time, Rogers and Hanks as Rogers. It's a film fans of both are looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing it. And they expect to wrap up filming here in the Pittsburgh area mid to late October. Then they have some scenes to shoot in New York City. The movie is the real life story of Mr. Rogers friendship with a journalist who profiled him in a magazine. Susan.